Oh, Hickok 45. You can never get enough tactical training, and that was just a little bit of it. You caught me here on the range. Uh, do that quite often, actually. Sometimes we just pretend the goats are coming after us, and we won't talk about the times they actually are coming after us, okay? But anyway, Hickok 45 here with a Benelli Nova. Can you believe it? A little bit different in terms of a shotgun. And you've probably seen one. Heck, some of you own them, I'm sure. Uh, I have never even fired one. Uh, it has been on my list for a long time. Y'all have uh, requested this for years. And so I thought I'd get right on it. And uh, what do you think of this thing? I wasn't sure. Whenever I would see one in a gun shop, I uh, we were picking up at a gun show. But wow, that is really uh, space age looking. It uh, should be paired with a high point, um, high point carbine, you know, or something. Looks like something you see on Planet of the Apes, uh, or whatever. But from my my understanding, they have a, a good reputation. People like them. Um, so, and then of course y'all have been requesting it, so I just thought, well, I don't care how funny it looks to me, uh, let's try it out, because you know I like shotguns, I love pump shotguns, and, uh, so we're going to shoot some more. Come on up here to the shooting table, we'll take a closer look at it, and, uh, we're going to shoot some good old Federal ammo, got several kinds. I don't have any normal slugs, those were Magnums, and, uh, that's one reason I just put my, uh, decelerator pad on here, and I'll probably just leave it because I don't have any normal uh, slugs or low recoil slugs. <laughs> I still like the term low recoil slugs. There's no real such thing, unless you're talking about a mini shell or something. Uh, and I'm shooting these Magnums and they really uh, jar you, I tell you. Uh, it seems like everybody's out of the, uh, the low recoil or just normal slugs these days. Uh, uh, they're on back order at Federal. They can't seem to get them uh, as, I, as we film. And uh, they're hard to find in shops even. So, uh, but we'll shoot some more of the Magnums. I need to get beat up a little bit, don't I? I deserve it. So uh, it's, it's an interesting shotgun. I mean, it's all pump shotgun. The most obvious difference, you know, as you can see, difference is, well, this is all a polymer, this uh, stock, and the receiver is one piece. That's kind of different, isn't it? Uh, it's actually steel underneath there but it's kind of shrouded in this piece that's that's all one piece, you know? Uh, it's kind of interesting. And it's got a different design, you know, on that uh, forend. It's kind of a, an unusual thing. It looks strange, but it feels pretty good. I tell you though, I have pinched myself. You now, if you have one, if you ever do this, but like right here, if you use your finger right there, that, ah, you know, when you're just, you know, racking that thing quickly and hard, I uh, caught my finger in there once, so. If you want to get hold of that thing up there, make sure you keep your hands up there. Yeah, because uh, it's like a ledge there. You got that big old thick lip there. You don't want to get caught, you know, between there. But other than that, it's just a pump shotgun, cross bolt safety. There's your uh, slide release right there, kind of like the 870. And, uh, you know, a lot of polymer, of course, and which some people just hate, can't stand, right? Uh, but uh, like the, uh, the Mossberg, the steel locks up on steel, you know, and that's why I think Mossberg uh, 590, 590A1, whatever, you know, uh, did better in all the military trials, as I understand, than anything. And it has a, an alloy receiver. How horrible. But you have steel locking up on steel. I'll take this barrel off real quick before it gets hot. You just unscrew the cap in there, and I think you have to release that and pull it out. And, you know, it locks up there in the steel, you know, the barrel does. So... There's no polymer to steel, you know, lock up there, okay? And anything there, so you got uh, uh, slide rails on both sides there, okay? So it's a good strong, seems to be a good strong shotgun. And uh, this is the barrel, in case you didn't notice. And it says Benelli Arms, and uh, notice on the barrel, it is suitable for two and three quarter, three inch, or three and a half inch shells. And that's one of uh, its claims to fame. It will handle three and a half inch shells. So I guess that means, John, we got to find some three and a half inch Magnum slugs <laughs> as if these aren't enough. Okay. But you know, with, uh, I, I don't hunt, but I know with steel shot, where you have to use steel shot around waterfowl, I think in most areas now and that kind of thing, uh, steel is lighter than lead. 
that might be a new slash for some of you. And so there's more, there's bigger shells, more bigger shells out there uh, since so much steel shot, you know, uh, went into production years ago when some of those game laws changed and the uh, regulations. And so a three and a half inch shell, they're like a big old shotgun, 12 gauge. But I guess some of those are not quite as intimidating if they're steel shot, because uh, as far as the, the weight of it, it may not be any more than a two and three quarter inch, you know, lead uh, shot shell. But anyway, it'll handle a three and a half inch shell. And uh, that's one of the things about it that uh, is kind of uh, makes it really flexible. Now this is called the tactical, the Benelli uh, Nova tactical model. And that's why it's got the shorter barrel. And it does have a short magazine. It just holds four plus one. And when I got it, it would hold two. I took the plug out. And uh, so now it holds four plus one. I'll, I may just leave it out. I don't think anybody's going to buy this for hunting. I'll put this in the uh, box with it. This goes back to e-gunner. Of course, and I'll put that in the box. So you won't have to take it out, but uh, you want to hang on to it. You never know. You might use it to hunt or put a different barrel on it or something. And because in most hunting, uh, if you wonder what I'm talking about, uh, trying to confuse you, but in, in most hunting uh, environments, states, I think uh, the limit is like two, two plus one. I think you can't have more than two rounds in the magazine. So, so that keeps that uh, legal. Okay, but I never do use them for that. I use them on two liters and stuff, and we do have a target rich environment as you can see here. You know what I ought to do though, uh, while, well, let's, don't, let's shoot something lighter here, then I'll get my shoulder back into it. All right, so Benella Nova, safety on, put one in the chamber, and dump four into the magazine here. This is some seven and a half uh, shot that I shoot a lot of. Okay, it's a pump. So let's pump it. Let's pump this rascal and uh, see what needs to be shot. How about that bucket? Wait, before he shoots, I've got a message from the future. I just know he's going to forget to tell you something pretty important. And here it is. It involves the magazine cutoff. Okay, this little button here. See, from the future, I can, I can know everything. And he didn't say a word about that yet. What that is for is this firearm is fully loaded right now with uh, number seven and a half shot. All right. So this is something you don't have on uh, uh, most pumps or any other pump that I'm aware of. It might be out there. So it's a magazine cutoff. And what that in involves and allows you to do is, let's say I've got nothing but bird shot in here now, which, which is true. And now I don't know, use your imagination, you know, what the situation might be. You're hunting or it's a defensive situation. I'll let you fantasize why you might need a different sort of uh, shotgun shell in the chamber as quickly as you can get it there okay or maybe it's not a something has to be done in a half a second but what this thing allows you to do is let's say well i'll go ahead and uh, well, i'll go ahead and fire this round and let's say i know that uh oh i've got bird shot in there and i've got a charging buffalo across the hill coming at me or something and uh the bird shot isn't going to stop him. I push this button when I get the slide back a little bit, right there. Okay, and notice what happens. It doesn't. It prevents it from picking up another round in the from the magazine. So what I can do here's a slug. I can just put it right in there like that and go back and take a shot with it. <laughs> and I hit the charging pig, didn't I? Except he was standing broadside. Now the next time it's gonna go ahead and feed one, all right? But it allows you to do that. Now I could have, uh, yeah, that'd be the best way to do it. Or you could uh, put the slide forward, put it in the magazine and then work it in or whatever. But that's what you'd wanna do because you might be in a hurry. That's why you did it, okay? So that's, that's something that's kind of rare. That's not on uh, any firearms I'm aware of that are pump action shotguns. And like I say, it, 2020 hindsight really is clear because when you're in the future, you know exactly what people are going to do and what they're going to say, what they're going to forget. And uh, you could tell he was going to forget it. Guy's not very bright to begin with. So we'll let him carry on now and show off, see if he can hit something. <laughs> that was a trick. Oh, a pizza pan. I'll be done. No, let's save that for some double lot buck. Let's see if I can pick off that uh, cascade thing there without harming the cowboy too much. There we go. I was holding on the right of it. And let's put uh, some bird shot on that. Plus the wad. 
Now you don't want to shoot a bowling pin with a uh, bird shot, so we won't do that. But you can shoot a two liter. <laughs> I'll shoot another two liter. <laughs> and it is empty. So if this were mine, I would probably get the uh, magazine extension. I think it enables you to, uh, to hold, it holds two more rounds, I think. So it may be seven, I don't know, it's either four or seven. Well, I mean, it's four now, but it, uh, I think I read that uh, it would hold seven with one of the extensions, and there's a couple of three available, I think. Now, it's been out long enough, this has been out for years, that there's aftermarket uh, you know, products for it, and a lot of people have them. I uh, did a little research in forums and around, and people, what they're saying about these things, and generally they're well-liked. Uh, you see some uh, serious detractors, you hate them, but a lot of people had them, so they've never had any problems, and, and really like it. And uh, it felt kind of, I think it's smoothing out some, it felt kind of a little bit rougher on the action when I first got it uh, several days ago, but I've been working and shooting it, and uh, I don't know, it's different, but it's plain old pump. There's nothing all that unusual about the way it operates. Let's go, oh no, let's get some, uh, let's shoot some double lot buck, okay? A favorite of many of us, right? A favorite load. It's hard to beat, double lot buck. <sighs> a lot of people. Well, I'll get that one later. A lot of people use this for uh, self-defense or number four buck or, you know, something bigger than, of course, bigger than bird shot generally. We don't get into that argument about bird shot. <laughs> uh, you could do a lot worse than bird shot, but, uh, but most people <laughs> use double lot buck. It's got a lot of stuff in there and uh, makes for a nice round. Makes a lot of nice little holes in whatever you're shooting at, like a pizza pan. I think it's got a couple of nine millimeter holes. So let's put some uh, this in there. All right, we won't get too much spread at this distance, probably. No, there. Let's go for that tombstone down there. Yeah. <laughs> Cowboy. Oh boy. That would be a bad day for him, wouldn't it? Let's try the cowboy again, a little bit lower. Yeah. And let's put some on this target, some uh, number nine. <laughs> some bigger holes. That stuff is, is rough. Uh, you know, again, a shotgun. That's a, uh, what is that? That's about 18 to 20 yards down there where the cowboy is. And, you know, there are still probably a lot of people think, wow, the shotgun with a short barrel, tactical length barrel, you're gonna get a lot of spread down there. Uh, not a lot, just about right. And of course you want to pattern your shotgun, whether it's a defensive gun, hunting gun, whatever it is, and get a feel uh, for what it's going to do, you know, what you're shooting because, uh, you know, the spread can uh, not be good if, if you're getting more spread than you thought you were going to get or less and you know, all that. You know, that's some good stuff, though. Whew. Man, I, there, I think there, I may be wrong. You tell me, you deer hunters. I think there are some places where people actually hunt deer with, uh, I don't know, double lot or triple lot buck where it's illegal. You can kind of see why, I guess, you know, if you're not too far away. Uh, it might work. I'll shoot a little bit more of that, can I? That's good stuff. You know what I might do? Let's see what it'll do over there on the gong. <laughs> Is that the same? Yeah, double lot. Okay. One more there. Okay, let's get one more out. Gotta have a full magazine after all. We're gonna play. It just hold four. Alright, I'm gonna see. I think the gong, I painted it, so we should be able to see if we hit it. Uh, of course, I need to hold the right place on it. Some of that went low. I'll hold up a little more. I heard something hit it though. Heard it hit then. Yeah. So there's some <laughs> there are some hits appearing it sounds like. Let's see what it'll do to a two liter. <laughs> That's some bad stuff, I tell you. Mm, nice, nice. You notice we have a, a featured target here. Uh, we contacted Coca-Cola to see if they would uh, buy all of our two liters for us for the next 10 years, and they refused, so we, we bought a big giant Coke here to shoot, okay, just to show we're mad at them. That was a joke, that was a joke. Uh, 
But I just couldn't resist. I said, I saw that at somewhere, Walmart or somewhere. I said, you know what? I gotta get one of those for a target at least one time. Sometime when we've got a shotgun and we happen to have some slugs. And you know, that is one advantage of having these Magnum slugs. Let's just go ahead and do it. Slugs. And uh, <laughs> let's see if they will break it. We'll test the plastic on that thing. We might even test the, the rind on that watermelon with it since we have it. All right. All right, shoulder, get ready. Let's do the watermelon first. See if it'll break it. Woo! <laughs> it disintegrated. Wow. It's still raining down. All right. Whew. Shoot that evil red Coca-Cola. See if it'll break that. Didn't have one in. Woo! <laughs> Well, it didn't blow up like I thought it might, but it sure went through it. Same old deal, you gotta be careful not to short shuck. I have short shucked this a couple of times. Uh, so you just got to get used to it. All right. All right, let's go over there and try that red plate. The big one, the shootsomesteel.com uh, red plate that they gave us. <laughs> I believe it hit it. Let's hit it again. Well, that'll test it. <laughs> that wax it. That's a fairly heavy uh, square plate, no doubt about it. You know, we appreciate that, that free steel from uh, shootsomesteel.com. Uh, wow, there's a, there's a kicker. It's not a heavy, extra heavy shotgun, and that's part of it. When you're putting really magnum loads in it, you're, you're going to feel it. They make a recoil reducer for these that you can buy. I don't believe it's in this one, but you put it in the stock. It's kind of got a mercury filled thing, and it helps reduce recoil. Uh, you can do that. And you do notice uh, one thing I wanted to point out it has this particular model, at least the tactical model, has the uh, ghost ring sights adjustable. And uh, I mean, it's got pretty nice sights, and you know I love a ghost ring sight. This, uh, so the good news and bad news, positive and negative. The positive is it's got a ghost ring sight, a pretty nice one. However, it's also one of the negatives because it's not the best ghost ring sight I've ever seen. I love the fact that it's so easily uh, adjusted because I have adjusted it. It was shooting high over there with slugs, and uh, I've got it pretty much on, I think, where I want it. But uh, when you pull it up to your eye, I, I lose, I totally lose. Now you're, you're sort of supposed to lose the ghost ring sight. It's, that's why they call it a ghost ring. The ring becomes kind of a ghost, you know, fuzzy, and then you, you're focusing on your front sight as usual. But you, you don't lose any part of it except the top. And it's, I don't know, just lining it up is kind of weird. I'm not sure the dots on either side of it helped me. They, they, you know, John's not crazy about it either. Uh, there's just a little too much going on and not thick enough. This, for example, this one, uh, the Scattergun Tech uh, sight, you notice it's thicker all the way around. It still becomes a ghost ring, and you see your front sight, but it's very, without focusing on this, which you couldn't do anyway, you know exactly your alignment. Uh, so, I don't know, I just prefer a thicker one, I guess. I've been spoiled by that. So, yeah, it's got a ghost ring, and I, I'm, I'd rather have it with it than without it, even this one. But it, to me, it's not the most desirable ghost ring sight. Uh, but that's just me, maybe, okay? So that's one of the positives and negatives right there. Uh, the other negative, again, like I said, you better watch it. You get to your finger. Just, it actually, you're not likely to have your finger wedged in there. You're likely to just catch a little, you know, working it really quick and get a finger in there without realizing and just banging on that. I've done that a time or two. Uh... What other positives or negatives? Uh, I don't know. It's just it's just kind of space age looking, but that's that's not necessarily negative or positive, is it? Uh, just depending on what you like. It's I'll tell you a positive is it's a Benelli, okay, and that's generally a positive thing. It's like having a firearm that's got FN on it or something. Uh, you know, it's got Benelli. It's probably made pretty well, all right. And uh, and by all accounts or most accounts I've read people do like it and they're very pleased with it so 
so far it's it's it's, it's worked. I tell you, I tried some mini shells though, and uh, and it it was working okay. I thought, wow, this is cool. That's a real plus. But then I had a little trouble, and one hung up so badly, I like to never got it out of there. So your experience might be a little different, but I had some serious trouble with that. You know what? Since I'm a glutton for punishment, let's just do a couple more slugs, okay? Since I got the rubber pad, I won't be a wimp. All right. And uh, what else have I failed to mention? Probably a lot of things as usual, right? Uh, oh yeah, I think they sell for, oh man, now I've forgotten. I've been looking up so many different firearms. It's around, I wanna say 499, 450. Yeah, so I mean, it's not like a overly expensive uh, shotgun, like you might expect or think from uh, Benelli. Uh, so it's, it's not priced that bad. It's, it's not all that far off of a, uh, 870 or a Mossberg 590 or 590A1 especially, so it's not a not a bad bad price on it. Yep, just holds four. Okay, yeah, I would have to get that extension on there for sure. All right, why did I do that? Now you notice I haven't shot bowling pins uh, because you don't want to do that with buckshot. It'll bounce on you right back, but I don't think these will bounce back. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah, there's a bowling pin across the range. Oh, there's a two liter. Let's see. What else do we have to. Oh, I'll shoot that water jug there. Yeah, I short shucked it. Woo! <laughs> I got one more. Have we put one on the gong yet? All right. I <laughs> listen to a ring. Oh, there's nothing like a shotgun. There's really not. Let me load it up and shoot it uh, uh, fast if I can. Let's see if I can keep from short shucking. And uh, I used to shuck a lot of corn, so you'd think I wouldn't be guilty of that. All right, we'll put four in the two here. It's a kind of shotgun that uh, you'd get used to. And, uh, you know, it's, again, it's not an 870 or a Mossberg. You just have to kind of get used to it. What was I going to shoot? Uh, how about that bucket again? Yeah, let's just pump him. Whether I hit it or miss, I'll just keep shooting. All right, I'll see if I can keep from short shucking. Yeah. Yeah, works fine. Pretty smooth. It, again, any, any pump gun, you've got you to rack it with authority. You know, try it like you're trying to break it. Like you're trying to break it. Bring that thing back hard so you don't short shuck the thing. Okay, that's what short shucking is. Again, for new shooters, new viewers, uh, it's when you bring that back and you think you've got it all the way back, but the next round doesn't pop out because you didn't bring it all the way back. Okay, release it. And then you go forward and you think you've got a round in there and click, you don't. That click, the, uh, what, the loudest sound that you'll ever hear is when you expected a boom and you heard a click. So the two sounds you don't want to hear, a boom when you expect it to click and a click when you expect it to boom and however all those sayings go, you just want to make sure you got a round in there if you meant to have one in there. Uh, so a uh, pretty neat gun, uh, you know, I don't know if it's something I would buy because you know, I'm, I am a kind of old school. I, I love my Mossberg and even the 870 and I'm just so familiar with them. I don't know that I need to introduce a, like a third a feel, you know, but if I, you know, you don't have maybe like 40 or 50 years of shooting an 870 or a Mossberg, so, you know, it might just suit you just fine. If you don't have a shotgun yet, you might prefer this over an 870 or a, or a Mossberg or some of the others because uh, it's, it's a pretty cool gun made by Benelli and it's not a thousand dollars, you know, so. That is, that is one gun. So did I forget anything about it? Uh, like I said, you can get an extension for it in the magazine. It'll hold more rounds. Uh, you, know, you can go up to three and a half inch shells. And uh, a lot of polymer, so it's not excessively heavy. It's not a potato chip, though. I mean, it has a little weight to it. Uh, seems to work pretty well. Seems to work, and it's uh, reasonably priced. Not bad. Not bad. Different feel than your standard old shotguns we're used to. 
but it gets the job done. It really does. So uh, I, I am pleasantly surprised. I whenever I've seen them in shops, I've thought, man, it looks kind of cheap. I don't care if it is a Benelli. It just just looks cheap and has a weird feel. I, I just was not impressed, but I was perhaps judging the book by its cover a little too much. So now that I've worked out with it some, and you saw some of that extensive tactical training I was doing early in the video, you caught me doing, John caught me uh, doing. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I don't know how impressed I am with it, but I think it's fine. It's a fine shotgun. Life is good. Oh hey, I hope you guys enjoyed what you just saw. Um, if you didn't, it was I had nothing to do with it, and if you loved it, then it was probably all my idea. Uh, but while I've got you here, I wanted to make you aware of our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute at sdi.edu. They are a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can get a degree and uh, get certified in gunsmithing uh, with hands-on experience, and they also have an associate's degree in firearms technology. So check that out if you get a chance. That's sdi.edu. Edu, And also, while you're on the internet, uh, look at our website. We have a website now. It's called, it's really simple, Hickok45.com, spelled just like we spelled on YouTube. Uh, you can go over there and you can find t-shirts just like this one. Um, you can find links to all the people that support us. Uh, we got photo galleries. We got all kinds of stuff over there. Um, also, don't forget about our Facebook page, just Hickok45. I have one too, um, Hickok45 and Son on Facebook. And there's also a John Hickok. Facebook, I got a bunch of them. Um, there's also Instagram, the real Hickok45 at Instagram. There's also a John Hickok45 at Instagram. Um, what else do we have? Twitter, Hickok45 on Twitter. I don't mess with Twitter, I don't like it. Um, I guess that's about it. I have another YouTube channel called John Hickok. Um, I feel like we need more things, but that's all that I can think of for now. Oh, Full 30, don't forget to check us out on Full 30. Dot com. Uh, we post videos over there also, and uh, I believe that's it. So I guess you guys are going to have to find something else to do now. So um, I appreciate it. Thank you.